hello collective welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for your likes your comments your shares and subscribes i truly appreciate them all you guys let's head in let's get a message for you guys please keep in mind that this is a general reading so the messages may or may not resonate with you Take the messages that resonate with you, your personal situations, and leave the rest. I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend so far. Okay, let's see what you need to know. What do you need to be aware of? <laughs> Holy Spirit, my spirit. Yeah, good changes are coming. What do you need to know what y'all need to be aware of? Oh, energy. It stood up for like a half a second, y'all. Oh. Yeah. So somebody feel like they made too many mistakes, man. They feel like a dumbass. Somebody kicking themselves right now. Yeah, Earth Angel. Because they said that you get to move in a new direction. Okay, they like the earth angel is out the building cheering. That's what they said. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, earth angel, you get to have a happy new beginning. But somebody felt like they made too many mistakes. They feel like a dumbass. What happened? Somebody feel like a dumbass, y'all. What they do? Mm-mm-mm. Uh -uh. Main female. Could be sick. So my main female is sick. They could be being hospitalized. What's going on? Uh, feels like a fool. Too many mistakes. They feel like a dumbass. Yo, what happened? Two, two, two. Wow, gloomy thoughts, worried, depressed, overthinking, they self-sabotage, bleak, unhopeful, sad freaking news, man. They're hearing sad news about your, it's sad news to hear about your great fortune? What the fuck? Yeah, so, during my meditation, somebody, um was definitely sad, very sad. I seen a dude very, 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 very regretful in grief. Okay, whoever this masculine is, this is a masculine, y'all. Gloomy thoughts. They feel like they made too many mistakes. They messed up, messed up. You could, uh, it could be an Aries or a Taurus, don't have to be, okay, but with the that's with the full card we got the um sad news what they sad news about somebody to get they married to going to prison because the courts may be on the side of someone that's held in high honor that's a that and the court official or the government or the lead the law or something the judge has already said that somebody is going to win this money unexpected money and the main male and the main female is sick about this path they chose because they hearing the message about you getting this great fortune now or their great fortune coming to an end they was expecting for you to be removed from working with somebody or from work or lose your job now they're in their thoughts about a family member a neighbor or a house an older gentleman gave to them a, a, a main female or the older woman gave her a gift. An older gentleman gave a gift to a older woman here and she's been keeping that secret that she's been lying to the false, to the, she's been a false person or something to the rich lady. Now somebody is sad here or stressed out because Somebody could have trusted this business venture they went on with them. It's like, so all of it was a lie. Can you imagine? 
if something is going on like that, like somebody could have went on a whole business adventure and put a lot of work and effort into it and it was all bogus or it was never going to happen. It was never real. It was a fantasy and they was trying to make it real, you know, like trying to do things in a way where they could manifest it to be the way that they were playing it out or something. <laughs> like, yeah, something like that. Wow. Whoever the positive, uplifting friend knows that you're independent and free or yeah. Now you're independent and free. Maybe now that you are independent and free, people are seeing you as a positive, uplifting person. Maybe new friends, you know, somebody might want to be your friend or what. Because your new world is born and you're being protected. <sighs> okay, this is good. So, somebody is sad. Fine. You know what? I'm going to use this one. Okay. I'm going to use these cards. Hmm. That was a horrible shot. Let's see. You need to know what you need to be aware of. Somebody's definitely having gloomy thoughts. Damn it. Gloomy thoughts. Okay. Why are they having gloomy thoughts? Oh, wow. Happiness in our hearts and home. Okay. Healing. So you heal the emotional and emotionally intelligent vampire or energy or emotionally intelligent vampire is healing. So there's going to be happiness in your heart and home. Okay. Wow. So somebody could have had an unnecessary fear, maybe that your gifts were you you couldn't do something. Unnecessary fear. Your new hidden talents. <gasps> no, shut up. I'm sorry, guys. So you're finding out there is new talents is, uh, is evolving from something. Your new, your hidden talent is to heal emotionally uh, intelligent vampires. Like with maybe uh, prayers or whatever, you can actually heal them. That is so funny because I was sitting there thinking, like, just from the recent past of my past events, something current recently happened. And I was thinking, I was like, damn, maybe is that a part of my life purpose too? You could have a moment like that. Because you're about to embark on a whole new path and it's going to incorporate something else, another part of your talents. And a part of your talents is healing other people when it comes to like these type of like band run. They have like attachments and stuff like that. You can take, you can fix them and it brings them back to who they supposed to be. So it's like put somebody put in a hex or a curse or something over them, attaching an entity to somebody or whatever, you're able to cleanse that energy away. That's one of your hidden talents. That's very big on this planet because you're supposed to do that to a lot of people, not just people you love, but like for the world. So that's a part of your new gift or something like that. All right. It's like you either, you could be a root worker, you could be uh, a high priest, whatever. Okay. You could, you could really 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 be deep 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 into your spiritual craft right now at this time somebody feels like a dumbass because they worried that you found this out 
Because that's your life purpose. You're a healer. What kind of healer are you, right? I understand that you can do this for you, but have you tried that to help another with your gifts? Okay? In a positive way? Not, no, oh, let me do a love spell for you. Oh, no, nah, we talking about real divine healing work. Real divine healing work on people that have been distorted for years. All they need to do is be willing and you take it from there. Wow, spirit. And somebody is worried you figured this shit out because that's where all that money coming from. You see, that's what I was like, because there was a lot of money in that, um, in this damn deck. Because they like, oh my God, if you figure that out, then it's over. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh my yeah. So it's over. They're praying to reduce their burdens right now. They're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, Lord. Because you 10 toes down, you are secure. It's a wrap now. So somebody's praying for forgiveness right now. Mm, 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 mm. Why they ain't just let you be you, collective? Infinite possibilities. You have infinite possibilities now. Your life, with your life path, the path that you're on right now. <gasps> infinite possibilities. We got ancestors. It says the love and the legacy of our DNA. So your ancestor before you could have been like this. And there's, this is literally the gift that they gave you on how to heal. Like I said, you could be a root worker. You could be deep. Like you really could be deep into just whatever your spiritual bag. Let's just say that. Okay. You're a healer. A divine healer has been activated. It's infinite possibilities now for your DNA, for your ancestors, for everybody. It's like it's a wrap now. Do you understand we got the ball and we running it to the to the end? What is it? The goal line? And it's a fucking touchdown, bro. Like we hit the mark. It's a wrap. It's like you cracked the last code or you cracked the code or something. Like, yo, this is wow. Like you, it's like you did. It's like, you know, what's that song? I, that's the, we, I haven't heard that song in forever, but I've been hearing it. Um, It's like you did the magic and the magic working. That type of energy. Whatever this is, is working for your ancestors. It's working. I don't know if you are, man, like something got to do with love and uh, healing of the heart and shit like that there. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what y'all did, but you done, you done, <laughs> you, 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 okay. Just you. All right. <laughs> and somebody feel like a dumbass now. Because I don't know why they didn't think that you would. That is like, why didn't I see this coming? Like, of course they would. <laughs> of course she would. It's like, it was in their face the whole time, y'all. Something been in their face the whole time about you. And they are just now seeing something about you. They just now seeing something about you. Wow. Shadow in the reverse and dedication. It's like they, it's like something was seen. Like I said, shadow is when you can't see. They seen how dedicated you was. They should have known that like ain't nobody like you literally. It's like you, you, when you walked on your spiritual path, it's like what outside world? You wanted to know everything about everything and you ain't stopped either. You just kept going and going and going and 
that what is this the rabbit hole you went deeper and deeper and deeper made tunnels in the tunnels of the rabbit holes made some houses in that bitch you done put you done put some furniture in there you got a refrigerator with some cool drinks you was you was in there and they like you heard from no i ain't heard from them Oh, last time they went down some rabbit hole, I ain't seen them since. I ain't seen them for years. I don't know what the fuck going on. But that's the kind of dedication you need in order for you to have this type of position on this planet. You understand? It's like, what? I, what? No, it's nothing else more important than to heal and help another person to us. And I know we got to learn to do these things. So what do we do? Study. Ask ourselves questions from the smallest things. We get inspired by the smallest things. By a bumblebee flying, we want to analyze why is that bumblebee flying right now at this time in this space spiritually. Yeah, we keep digging. Everything means something. And I feel like this these people seeing that you was like that. Like everything, every time you do anything, okay? Like you see that blue car that rolled by? You know, blue represents like <laughs> some shit like that. You always spitting some knowledge out your damn mouth. They like, I knew. <sighs> I knew they was like a hermitist. I just knew, you know, like I know they always, they was knowledgeable as fuck. They know every fucking thing when it comes to some sort of spiritual shit. They don't have no clue on they can't even fathom how the hell you know these things. They like, that's why. This is this is the one. This the one. This the legacy. This the this the one. <laughs> or, the, or the whole generation. This the one that 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 our generation been waiting to be born. They don't come every year or every every generation. You get one out of each generation. Or you know, maybe it skips, they say. So you it skipped. And they've been waiting for so fucking long for this. On this planet at this time. And we are so lucky to be here together, y'all. We are so fucking lucky that we even ran into each other this lifetime, y'all. It's so many people on this planet. And you all here with me. You would have never thought you would have met me when you was first born. You understand what I'm saying? Or when you was two, I would have never thought I would meet you. But look at us. Learning, growing, and healing together. We done came from all different people. We ain't got the same mama or the daddy, but we feel connected. Do you understand? No. It's the old family. The people that was thought you was a little off it's seeing you clearly now. You're the healer of ages and healer of time. That shit wild to somebody. You're more than just a pretty face. You're more than just a good cook. You're more than just a good mother. You're more than just a good father. You're more than just a aunt, uncle, cousin. You're more than just a granddaughter. You're more than just a daughter. You're more than all of that. You're more than just a son. Hugh the legacy. Paving the way for the generations to come. They're going to mold after you. That's why it's important to do the right thing out here. Treat people fair. Treat people kind. And most of all, take accountability for your shit. We ain't always right. And that's why it makes us perfectly imperfect. We know that. And we don't want to always be right. Because that means that we're not going to learn nothing. So that's stupid. Because I'm going to ask why. That, was just, that used to be my favorite. Why? Now I know. Now that who I am now, I know why I used to say why all the time back in the day. Because I always had questioned every fucking thing. I see why. Because I question everything right now. 
And I want to know everything to the t details and the molecules of how it even formed or why it is even existed. What purpose does it have here? My days is never boring. I mean, if you like to learn, your days would never be boring. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's always something to do. And this is what they're realizing right now. Invocation and autumn. Somebody has been invoked autumn for this healer here. Wow. We got communication and guardians. Communicate into your angels or guardians here in the springtime. Community web weaver. So they've been working their magic. There's a intensification of your protection here. All right. As you move forward. So it's like, since you on, on go, they on go too. We got to count your blessings that this was illuminated to you. Something was illuminated to you. Or this message is, is like, this is what you needed to know. So count your blessings that you are here right now at this time, at this second, watching right now with people that you don't even know that you never would have thought that you would even encounter a day in your damn life. But they all on the same path as you. And guess what? They all different races, sizes. They got all different backgrounds. But somehow we're here. That's big. And thank God that this is being illuminated to you right now at this time. Because you are learning. You have the power to cleanse. It's sturdy. It's 10 toes down. Cleansing stability. So it's so many pop things that's opening for you. You want to know if this is y'all message. It's so many things that's about to open up to you because you in there. Something about this energy of you being where you supposed to be spiritually. Okay. You're there now. Finally. Right. They'll be back, earth sign. So there could be an earth sign coming back to somebody or want to come back to somebody or something, child. <sighs> yeah, they said no. So they'll be back. So earth sign like thought that you was coming back or they wanted to come back. Look, somebody feel like it's not the right time <laughs> to manifest something. Why? Because somebody is in the middle trying to sabotage this. Uh-oh. Oh boy, let's see. Oh shit. We got a fire sign. It's trying to get closer because they could be trying to be patient, but somebody's coming closer to somebody. Somebody's trying to find out more information. A fire sign. Cause somebody letting somebody go. Cause someone was trying to is in the middle of trying to sabotage this. A water sign could be trying to manifest an earth sign to, I guess, have some honeymoon phase with somebody or cause a, a delay. Okay. What is this? Lord have mercy. And then it begins because you're here now. So now how the, how it was going, it's about to be a whole nother ball game. Now they're not against you. They're against each other because now you're here. You made it to the point. And now people is trying, what is it? Trying to play to save their own ass energy. People about to try to start saving their own ass right now. <laughs> we got date night. They'll be back. I'm telling you, yo. Listen, a health issue could arise. Somebody's expecting a health issue to arise because somebody is not. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? It's about to go down in somebody's world, yo. Somebody about to confess something. A liar. Like, nope. Nope. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> we got a liar. Mercury retrograde to manifest. So somebody could have been lying. Be careful. Someone was being sneaky. Somebody definitely could have been trying to cause delays for some sort of manifestation. A earth sign. Feel like something is short-lived. They could be waiting for somebody to move on and close a cycle. But they trying to figure out. Somebody took this gold. 
took a gamble with a gold digger because they still didn't know what they want? Or is that what the earth sign did? Now, somebody's lying about something. A liar is about to confess that they'll be back date night in a fire sign. So, let's see. I don't, listen, somebody lied. So, somebody lied and said, yeah, they went back to a fire sign. Somebody lied. And they finding this out. So, shot clocks could be going on right now and somebody worked. Lord have mercy. So it's like, because what I'm how I'm seeing it in my mind's eye, it's like somebody stumbling over somebody. It's like trying to get away or trying to get to somebody. Very in a haste energy. Because somebody fucking lied about something. Karmic lesson. Somebody lied about something. I feel like. That's why this person is in gloomy thoughts because you're going to have this happiness in your heart and home maybe with a new person or something like that. Because it's like, like fire sign is given. If I can't have you, nobody can. I don't know how somebody know this new person that's coming in or I feel that. I don't know. They, they did something. Somebody was dedicated. While you was being dedicated to your ancestors and doing your thing, you was building something here. And it was like they was do somebody was lying and saying that somebody went back to a fire sign. I what I just told you. I said somebody is like, oh, like trying to hurry up or something. They listen, time running out. I cannot. They under pressure right now. They like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like they in they 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 about to be completely in their north nose. So it's like imagine a big, beautiful, diamond crusted beautiful a luminous light being ginormous door closing that's what i'm seeing right now like beautiful i don't know that's a beautiful beautiful ass door though but whatever that door is it's like slowly closing and somebody's like oh my god 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 like they learned the lesson they learned the lesson they learned the lesson it's like and it's like somebody tricked somebody and they like you motherfucker kind of energy <laughs> It's a, it's a it's a mess going on behind the scenes. But I'm so proud of y'all. Congratulations. Okay? Congratulations. Hats off to you. I wish you nothing but the best here on your next part of your journey. We made it. Flying we didn't I mean flying colors. We we definitely had to bend through some things, but we made it. This is good. Really, really good energy. But you know, with this. Come on, spirit. You you just showing off right now. <sighs> they showing off right now. <laughs> Cause the door is closing. Divine feminine looking the other way. And this person like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Someone was being sneaky. They shouldn't have never listened to this person. Oh my look! This is wild. Yes, we're about to show out on this reading. I just want y'all to know that right now. We got the truth. Discovery and awaken that somebody was motherfucking lying. You, I, I don't know. They lied on you. They told somebody you went back to somebody, whatever this is. And they like, yo. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. GPS watching somebody. Look. Running. Memories. Mixed signals. Side hustle, wish, living in the moment, too late. Oh, when it comes to the legal matters, they get in the message that it's karma because you fed up with this divine masculine. They feel trapped by some sort of reading they got done with these karmic ties energy. They are shattered because somebody could have popped a question or something like that. They could have wanted to reject someone or they rejected someone. Or somebody found out they rejected you or they said they popped a question, but they really rejected you. Take it as a resonate, child, but somebody lied about something. Somebody told somebody you was married and all this cool shit in secret. Look at this. Secret feelings, health issues in the reverse. Depressed. Somebody could have said that you had some date. What? What? Twin flame, we got turned they back. Your twin flame turned they back on you because somebody kept a secret. You never had health issues because they had feelings for you. What the fuck is this? 
All right. And somebody's depressed. Why would they why would they believe these types of things? They've depressed now because you got options after they left you hanging. They are heartbroken. They feel guilty and ashamed because they made secret accounts and you blocked their fucking ass. Oh, they feel ghosted. They ghosted you because somebody said you had an STD by you was on the DL. <laughs> Damn divine feminists. Divine feminists, that's damn bad in the geo. <laughs> but he was dumb enough to believe the shit, so. So. Child, that is hilarious. So somebody got something to tell you. <laughs> Confession. What they got to tell you? Why they ran? Because somebody showed their true colors? Karmic lesson? So somebody got something to tell you? Running? When they ran, somebody was GPS tracking somebody? And you they know that you could be side-eyeing them due to their motives? Round and round, here we go. Karmic lesson. It's a dead end for the sweet talker because your spiritual gifts is here. I can't make it up. And this is shocking news. And they feel like shit right now. Whatever this gift is, this must be the one that you needed to unleash. Okay? And you did. With, with ease and grace. Look at you. Okay? Look at you, Divine Feminine. Oh, my, my, my. We got mirroring. We got married. Okay? So, somebody feel like they was GPS tracking you because you moved. Somebody feel like, okay, somebody got something to tell you. When you ran, somebody was GPS tracking you. Or somebody ran from a situation because somebody was GPS tracking them. Now, somebody could be wanting to apologize. And somebody could have been side-eyeing someone because they thought you was in a relationship or you had a fresh start. Or somebody's side-eyeing somebody right now. Or somebody could be side-eyeing someone that's trying to have telepathic communication with their twin flame divine feminine. Because somebody is moving and they could be definitely having a fresh start. Okay, because somebody is confessed something and somebody is out because they found out this person was GPS tracking somebody and now somebody is side eyeing them. Like it's like, nah, like somebody could have said something like whatever and somebody could be moving because somebody found out about somebody else that they was dealing with that was GPS tracking them. That's what I'm getting with that. And this person want to have a fresh start with you, Divine Feminine. They could be telepathically talking to you. Okay, your twin flame, divine feminine. They want to marry you. Or they said that you married somebody here. A wingman. Maybe somebody that was their friend and they've been taking drugs to cope. Why the fuck? What type of lies they was telling on y'all? I don't know what y'all got going on. But somebody was telling a lot of stories on y'all. And it had somebody thinking really crazy about you for some reason. Divine Feminine, your twin flame is trying to talk to you. They trying to tell you they moved and they want to apologize for GPS tracking you. But now, because somebody is now running because somebody feel like they got to confess something. They got to hurry up and confess Divine Feminine, your twin flame want to tell you that when you move, they were side-eyeing you. Like, why the fuck would you move and have a fresh start somewhere else? So they was GPS tracking you. Yeah. And somebody could be in their feelings because they found out that you're healthy. And somebody been secretly lying, being a trickster. And now somebody is awakened to that, that this person was a liar. And you could have turned your back on somebody. Turning your back. Police and bad news. Child. Oh, wow. 
my way or the highway in the reverse. They seeing the signs that they need to love themselves in order to reconcile with you or something like that. It's happening here. Okay. Let's see. So, they're saying they learned their karmic lesson, divine feminine. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, somebody feel like you probably see them as being very shady. They'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. Child, good luck with this, y'all. Rejected. Ooh, so yeah, no, nah, you rejected this person. They tried to come back. Yeah. And they shattered because they see you are a very successful boss bitch, career focused, and secure and confident. And you free now. They're like, I love you. And you're like, yeah, okay. I love myself too. <laughs> like, I love me too. I love me too. I see why you love me because I love me too. I get it. <laughs> they shattered. What is this? Love message. Maybe because they want to message you. Oh, my God. They're like, I'm so, so, so sorry. Please, please, please. Divine Feminine. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. So, you they catch, they came back and you rejected them and they are shattered. Because they like, please, please. They ready to beg you, bro. Love message. Oh, my God. Love message and STD. There was a lesson. Okay. Or that just came out like that. Now you free. So you STD free. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Queen Rosin. I'm sorry. You shouldn't be. All right. So they're shattered because this they got the good news. Love message that you are STD free, bro. Stop playing with me. Spirit love. You play too much. You got letting go, living, loving you and moving on. Queen B, successful boss bitch, career focused and queen. So they found out, you know, that she was, why was somebody, what is this? Why does this come out sometimes to divine feminine? Why are people always trying to say you got some, some weird shit going on? <laughs> Cause, okay. So you ain't sick. You're STD free. Why did somebody say you was sick, boo? I know. Y'all like because they was hating. I know, boo. I know. I know. But they don't make no... F oh, yeah. It was somebody that they had karmic ties with. And they like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought... I swore... I had... Oh, my God. They mad. Ugh. They regret what they was wishing on you. Oh, man. It's like, damn, so you can't be independent and be confident and secure. You got to have an STD because you're single? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, I know that's not funny, but oh, my God, y'all. It's just how people think for me. All right? It's really how people think for me at this time. Oh, boy. Date night. You're ready to be wine and dine. So you could be dating. Boss bitch, divine feminine. <laughs> okay, yeah. You're going to be dating someone that would never. <laughs> they would never leave you hanging. And not never. And what's this? We got love child. So somebody's not leaving you hanging. Love child. Child, maybe be careful, okay? Somebody want to. Somebody want to. Somebody, somebody want to. You know. Ooh. Karmic lesson and love spell. So somebody not leaving somebody hanging because they had a karmic tie with somebody or they don't want to leave you hanging because they had a karmic tie with somebody that did a love spell on them. They had got a reading done and shit blew up. Somebody had a mental breakdown because they was a shady ass piece of shit. That was a jacket. Somebody's finding this out. So we got date night. All right. They would never leave you hanging no more because of a karmic tie they had with somebody. Or they didn't leave somebody hanging because they had a karmic tie. So maybe they felt like they had... Okay, so they could have left you hanging because of a karmic tie they had with somebody that did a love spell on them. Okay? 
and they could have had a dream or they seen the red flags or something like that, that this is karma for doing whatever they did with you. They feel like shit because they not happy. They wish they would have learned this karmic lesson and seen that you was career focused and happily single instead of being reckless and under spiritual warfare with you because of what the hell they did with this karmic energy. Yeah. Love spell got them legal issues. A secret accounts they was making. So that people starting to realize they get locked up for this type of stuff now. You know. Without us calling the police. Like it's, that's your bad. <laughs> so now they like oh my god. They got some legal issues going on. They was making secret accounts. We got a thug done trapped themselves. Because they was living in the moment side hustling. For a jealous hateful fake gossiping bitch. That's in debt now. And they all mirroring the same energy. Hmm. No, ain't that something? Hmm. Fire sign. That's what he's saying. <sighs> what about the fire sign? Turning your back. So fire sign is turning their back on their family. <gasps> what? Goodbye. Okay, um, a fire sign turning their back on their family. And I don't know why I'm feeling like that. It's because I'm feeling like this is because this is the kind of person that's big on family. That's why I'm feeling like that. And if they're saying goodbye to a toxic lifestyle, they're going to be fit. Right now, they currently are fake and busy as they separate themselves from these people and soul searching. What? Because they know they made a lot of bad choices because of their family. And somebody that had a baby with was not their baby. He thought it was a love child. He is so sick of his wingman. Or something like that too. Because they covered up for these people. His own friend covered up for these people. He been trying to cope because it's spying on you. Because he's been thinking about you having other options. Dude, and your spiritual gifts, where they at? This person know you're going to get married. And they just was living in the moment, hustling with a jealous bitch. And they were shocked to find out this bitch was a crazy, obsessive person that's in debt. That was just a sweet talker. And they feel like they're going around and around in a karmic cycle. They got a reading done and they feel like shit. Because this karma is due to somebody being shady, being a jackass. And then their memory of you got them fucked up over you. And they are not happy because the who you are, you're a beautiful person inside and out, Divine Feminine, and they lost you. Wow. And somebody who feet pregnant. So whoever they was choosing over you wasn't even, the baby wasn't even theirs. Or this person was never pregnant. <laughs> damn. 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 Collective. Seriously. No, for real. Seriously. <sighs> That's heavy. Car karmic partner interference. That's the first card at the bottom of the deck. This is over. You haven't, you haven't, this isn't over. You haven't heard the last of me. We have unfinished business. That's what this person is saying. He like, no, yep. Telepathic communication. Child. I'm starting. Oh my, I cannot y'all. I'm starting to panic. It's been so long since I've seen you or heard your voice. I said we was doing. Go tell them to rewind it from the beginning of the damn reading. <laughs> okay, we've been chilling. The Divine Feminines have been minding their business, drinking their water, and learning shit. Okay, that's what we've been doing. I'm learning how to love myself now, thanks to you. Oh, okay, so they minding their business, drinking their water too, collective. 
please unblock me. Yeah, that's me calling you from unknown numbers. Here's the message. I don't know if my family was, I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. I'm on a spiritual journey. You have awakened me. So that's why they're walking away from this family unit because the family unit wouldn't accept you because you're spiritual. Now they're on a spiritual journey and that's why they're walking away. I'm going to put on, I'm going to put a ring on it when the time is right. Wow. Wow. Message. Expect to hear from them soon telepathically, y'all. <laughs> we be like, I can't hear you. He unfucking blocked me. Now, truth is, I'm in love with you. <laughs> like, you just think you just can ignore me. Yes. Uh, 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 sir, can you can you please remove <laughs> like from my thank you. All right. Yeah, we know this, so that's why your ass is blocked. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm used to getting my way, but you put me in my place. I look at my phone every day hoping I would see a message from you. Okay? Something like that. So somebody went through an awakening. They going through their little spiritual awakening or something like that collective. All right. Now, how y'all feeling about this? <clears throat> and it's so funny because I feel like if you never block this person from your energy, your energy, your life, or any of that, um, they would have still been playing with you. They would have thought that this was that, and Divine Feminine is like, uh, no. This was never that, and this is what this looks like at this time. Okay. It's like you so caught up in God right now, Divine Feminine. I feel like that's what's making you so attractive or something. I don't know. And it's real. Like, you know how people be fake caught up in God? Like, you you for real caught up in God. Like, you really caught up in everything they got to do with spirituality, getting closer to God, healing people and shit. You, you out here really molding after your father at this time. Hmm. They like, look at you. Expect positive changes, okay? Yeah, what I had told you. An Islamic man or a woman, we got, she walked away from a karmic. So you you can expect positive changes because you walked away from a karmic, divine, feminine. An Islamic man or a woman, W, knows that you protected from all evil. A Hispanic man or a woman, dad and grandfather, said you got that, she got that comeback, all right? They can't let you go. They know this. They can tell in the fall. And look, I, they want you to unblock them. Uh, somebody could be a Hebrew Israelite. Oh, God. He got that comeback, child. So, y'all both, everybody got the comeback. All right. We got that. So, somebody didn't want to let them go, and he don't want to let you go. Now, it's like they they walked away, and they somebody let them go, but you done walked away. And they like, wait a fucking minute, Divine Feminine. Wait, can we talk? Somebody nephew or these people could be scared of you in real life, real time. And somebody no longer wants revenge on you at all, okay? Because they know you know, okay? Yeah, they know they that you know, okay? Any day, they want to, they look, whenever you want to talk, any day, I want to talk to you about everything now. Like any day, that's what they saying. Any day you want to talk about this. Oh, a Scorpio was uh know that you made the right choice they feel like they made a bad choice all right somebody can have a silver tan brown burgundy purple gold turquoise or white car 
return to sender to all involved, known or unknown. Somebody can be a CNA doctor or RN. Somebody's niece, okay? Let's see. An ex-lover, cancer, K. What is that sticking out there? Something about the full moon. If you're reading this, it's too late. So somebody's been exposed, okay? Yeah. Somebody, baby mom, didn't mean what they said about you to others. What else? Somebody, co-worker, two weeks ago, they was talking hella shit about you or something. What else? So you can have a, a Cancer or a Scorpio that wants you to unblock them? Yeah, somebody, baby mom. I don't know, y'all. A. Eh? They was doing love and lust spells on them, they said. They baby mom. Sagittarius. They do not like the new you. We got a daughter on Tuesday. No, the warfare is over when it comes to a brother. They lied to you. They lied to them about everything. A Capricorn. So everybody is getting into the position where like they know shit is hating, you know. Getting hit in the fan. It's like getting realistic. Like everybody waking up. Everybody taking accountability. Gemini on Wednesday. Seven day of Venice. Could be a Caucasian man or a woman. But everybody getting it. They was doing beauty spells on somebody. Seven day of Venice has mental illness. That was doing beauty spells on someone. Or. And everything is backfiring on them and they group and everyone that they worked with. Anybody that joined the bandwagon. They are getting their ass kicked. They are. They know that. What's going on? So my sister could have been involved in this situation. G. H and I, S, first, last, middle, initial. She had wanted revenge on you. Somebody was a woman practitioner. Somebody's grandma. They see that you had a new beginning now, moving forward. So somebody's sister wanted revenge on you or whatever because they knew that if you got to this point, your new beginning would start. And it has. So congratulations. Have a blessed day.